Hi, this is Trey Lay from Open Helix. Today's tip of the week is eggnog, which is appropriate for the season. Eggnog is a tool or database, as you see here, of orthologous groups of genes. This allows you to look at orthology, relationships of genes and evolution, and functional descriptions and functional categories. So let's take a quick look at eggnog. Here's the about reference, which I reference in the blog post. Funding, previous versions, and acknowledgments. Simple enough. You have an idea of where some of this information is coming from, etc. The help section is short but helpful. It shows you how to do the search and some of the things you might be able to find and how it's put together. There's an overview, downloads, and file upload if you're going to upload a file of information. There's two examples of how you could do a search. For example, here are three terms in the search, a cog term, etc., that you can do per line. Example 2 shows you the sequence search, so you can search by a FASTA formatted sequence, protein sequence. But we are going to just go back to the home and type in the term clock for the clock gene right? and click search. Once you do that, you can change your search term a little bit just for species, but we're just going to do general. We can scroll down and see the different orthologous groups and get some information about them. Let's look at one of them. The first link here will take you to the members in the group. And that will give you a nice list of all the members, orthologous members in the group, including the species they're from. Here's chimp, macaw, and human. So give you an idea and description of the gene, the gene name on the left, and the species name, as you see. So there's our orthologous group, and as it says, as it says, it has 87 proteins and 43 species. The other thing you can do here now is get these sequences in a FASTA format, aligned sequences, or you can get them as non-aligned. You can also view the sequences in JawView, which is a Java program that allows you to align and manipulate alignments of proteins in DNA. You can learn more about that in our class style tutorial. As you see, I can scroll over, see the alignment. We can actually modify this alignment, change the colors, etc. I won't go into Java view too much, but it now gives me a way to look at the alignment and relationships of the clock genes in this orthologous group. Let's close that. You can also get the unaligned sequence in FASTA. You can also look at the tree. So once you click tree link under the, or the orthologous group, you can now get it in a NEWIC format, which allows you to view the, the tree in many different phylogeny programs. And we're not going to look at that. We're going to look at it now in ITOL, or Tree for Orthologous Group, here. Now, basically, it's giving you a um, the tree. You can go to the full functionality by opening ITOL up here. But we're not going to open the tree. We're just going to look at it. You can look at more detailed information about this in eggnog. Let's expand the tree a little bit just to give an idea of what some of the information we have. Pull it over. There we go. You can look at the smart domains. So, for example, here are the domains in the clock genes in these different species. As you see, they're listed by ID here. I can scroll over and it'll give me some, oops, sorry, it'll give me some information about that protein. If I scroll over the domains, it gives me domain information from SMART. I can click on that and it will take me to SMART and give me information about this domain. For example, Helix Loop Helix domain, HLL. If I didn't want SMART, I could do PFAM instead. There we go. And get an idea of the structure and evolution of this group. So that's the basics of eggnog. You might want to check it out and get some more information as they continue to develop it. They're adding um, greater features and more information. So you might want to keep checking this out. It's, it's a very useful tool. Talk to you next week and have a nice holiday and Happy New Year.